Okay, this is just a milk review, milk container review. I don't know how new this milk container is, but I've seen it for the first time today ever in my life. Um, I looked at under old videos, and there was one made in 2011, so I guess it's been around for a while. I would have considered doing more research, but I got a little lazy. There were other websites that attracted my attention, and I forgot, and I just decided I wasted enough time. I figured what the heck before I, you know, I want to drink this soon, and I wanted to uh, make a little video of this before I opened up the top. So this is a, a brand new milk container I got at Walmart. Uh, it's maybe two dollars fifty cents or so, and uh, it's it's a gallon, and you wouldn't really think of it being a gallon. It's it's kind of a perception issue because it's so thick at the top. I actually had to check. You know, I happen to have an old container here, and it just, it's, uh, it's, it looks different. It looks a lot different. Um, maybe I can put them over here. So you got the smaller top, and it, it just gives you the perception there might be more. So I, I had to check, and lo and behold, it is just a gallon. Um, the pouring um, looks like it would be a little bit easier when you handle it. It's It's got that top heavy handle a little higher up. Actually, if you really wanted to get a good pour in though, you'd want to put the handle towards the center portion on the back. And then you got this container, this, uh, this fill out um, portion here where you pour out the, the liquids and it makes it a little bit easier to be at an end as opposed to being on the very top you have to you have to kind of force put a little more force into it so when you use this new container you want to be aware that there's going to be a different gravity to it a different center of gravity it'll feel different it's, it's almost like the difference between when you weightlift using the regular dumbbells or the kettle bells. It's just the center of gravity has changed with the design. So that's that's something to consider. Now, why would they make this? It, it could be because it's uh, going to maximize space. Is that it? Uh, it's kind of hard to to tell, though. It doesn't really seem like it's for maximizing space. It may be just a little more narrow towards, so it's, you know, generally when you get box shapes you're gonna get a better a better feel there. But this this uh, container looks a little wider than, than this. But they're they're the same height. They're, they're roughly the same height. So um, you're you're really taking off uh, a lot of you're, you're you're getting a lot of space. Um, they're they're gonna be able to pack a lot more uh, weight into a smaller space with this new container, which will help with delivery. And the, you know the the the, the distributors will need to be be aware of the 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 more the greater weight that they'll be carrying. And when you annotate the, the numbers, you'll want to be aware that uh, you'll have a little bit more milk, a few more containers than normally with this. Now, this was in 2011. Plastic's pretty darn easy to make. Why hasn't this spread out? Is this, is this a, more of a, a copyright issue? Uh, to trademark this type of container? for great value and now that's exclusive for them and if anybody else wanted it they'd need to buy the the copyright to use it it's it's hard to say but i've only seen this now here in uh the city, great city of um well it's next to the olympia mountain uh i forget sec sec squim Squim, Washington, in the Walmart at Squim, Washington. But I look forward to drinking this. Looks, it's probably just a simple. Oh, okay, it's a little seal thing on the top there, and then tear that off. It's a bigger pour spout, so more will come out. Want to be aware of that. That's it.